Welcome back to Earth from Space and Happy New Year! This week, Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over the Tanis Roof Basin, one of the most desolate parts of the Sahara Desert. Tanis Roof is a region of the Sahara lying in southern Algeria and northern Mali. The hyper-arid area is known for its soaring temperatures and scarce access to water and vegetation a reason why it's often referred to as the land of terror. There are no permanent residents that live here, only occasional Tuareg nomads. The barren plain extends to the west of the Hogger Mountains and southeast of the sandy Erkchak. The terrain shows evidence of water erosion that occurred many years ago, when the Sahara Desert's climate was much wetter, as well as wind erosion caused by frequent sandstorms, exposing ancient faults in the Paleozoic rocks. The region is characterized by dark sandstone hills, steep canyon walls, salt flats, visible in white in the image, stone plateaus and seas of multi-story sand dunes, known as ergs. Concentric rings of exposed sandstone strata create a stunning pattern predominantly visible in the left of the image. White lines in the right are roads that lead to Insalah, the capital of the Insalah province and district. Just above the center left, an airstrip can be seen. An interesting grid-like pattern can be seen in the bottom of the image and mostly consists of man-made clearings and roads. Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission to supply the coverage and data delivery needed for Europe's Copernicus program.